I'm in a gym. Well, the first topic we're going to discuss today, as you see it in the intro, is heroes. Um, this is an encouraging thought that's been coming to me lately. Um, the band, the Christian contemporary band, Casting Crowns, just recently released um, another studio album by the name of Thrive. Um, on this album, they have a song by the name of Heroes. And the song talks about heroes, about people who are, are, are like angels in disguise. They're like people in the shadows who don't really get recognized. Um, so right now, I'm in an elementary school gym. Just a random location. I'm going to try to do different locations for each episode. But I'm here right now because in the song, it says about... Uh, a man or a kid in high school walking the halls against the flow. Um, he knows the people are lost and he prays for them in his classroom, uh, hoping that he can get revival. And this is something that's kind of hard to grasp. Um, for all you people out there in high school or even elementary school watching this video, um, you might not go to a Christian school. And if you do not, you face temptation every day to get sucked into a non-Christian. To, to, the, to the world, to non-Christian beliefs, things like that. Um, I suggest that you would pray for your student, pray for your uh, classmates, as well as your teachers, that they would be reached. Um, you may be getting taught things that aren't Christian at all, and I ask that uh, God would help them to understand this more. And um, I said in the intro video that I would discuss why I wear this. Um, you can't see it right now too well, but it's a guitar pick that says Casting Crowns in the back, and it has a crown for their band name. Um, I just recently went to the Thrive Tour uh, with Casting Crowns, uh, Lore Story, as well as um, Four King and Country. That was in Hershey, Pennsylvania. Um, while I was there, they had, a, they had a meeting for youth workers, ministerial workers, um, just pastors, stuff like that. So I went into that, seeing as uh, I went to Penview Bible Institute to be a ministerial, um, and I'm planning on going back this August. And to hear some of those things from the lead singer, Mark Hall, was impressive. I personally consider him a hero. He does 40 hours of ministry every week because he's a youth pastor. The band Casting Crowns goes on tours Wednesday night to Saturday night. And keep in mind, they're from Georgia. They travel all over the United States. Then Saturday night, they travel back to the church. They do their Sunday services, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Wednesday night. They do the same thing over again, every week. And uh, Mark Hall does 40 hours of ministry, and he also meets with 30 different youth a week. Um, he has a book as well called Thrive. I ask that you would check that out. It's a great book. Um, Casting Crowns is a great band altogether. They're all youth workers. But anyways, in the group, or in the book, he talks about hanging out. Uh, that's just something we need to do. If we want to reach people, um, the book talks about digging deep and reaching out. We need to gather some roots in God's word before we can reach out to people in this world, the lost. And um, he talks about hangout time. He meets with all these different youth. Um, if we want to invite people to church, we want to minister to people. We want to be the people who can bring others to Christ. Um, we need to build a personal relationship with them. We need to be the unseen heroes, the people behind the scenes. Uh, we all know who the people are in front of the scenes, the pastors, the lay pastors, the Sunday school teachers. But you do not need to have accreditation. You do not need to be a member of a church to be able to reach people. You do not need to be a specific church worker. You can just be some random person in your church who knows Christ. And I, I, I do ask that you do a little bit of research before you go about this because uh, witnessing, trying to reach others, it's, it's a tough thing. You will get some doors slammed in your face. You will get people who don't agree with you. But it, it's, in the end, it, it's worth everything you go through to see that person one to Christ. Um, personally, before I was saved, there was a man, um, a kid, I mean, when I was in school yet, who bullied me quite a bit, quite a lot, quite a lot bullied me. And just actually a few months ago, I seen in the paper that he was found dead. Now he's my age. I'm 23 turning 24 in July. He was my age. And 
That actually hurt me inside, even though he was considered a bully or quote unquote an enemy by some means. It hurt me inside to know that the paths he has taken were destroying his life and he wasn't saved. It, it hurt me so much to see that. Just someone who's my complete enemy. And now ever since I got saved, the Lord has put on my heart an, a yearning to see people saved. And that's all I'm asking you in this first episode is go out and at least talk to one new person this week. Uh, strangers, complete strangers, even maybe a friend who you're, you're a Christian. Okay, and one of your friends, they're not a Christian. So what do you do? Maybe they don't know you're a Christian. Maybe they don't hear you talk about Christ. At least go up to one new person or one friend who you haven't told about Christ. Just tell them a little bit about Jesus. And if, if they're more open to it and they're open to hear it, tell them all you can. Start drilling God's word into them. But see if, if they're kind of against it. Don't let that scare you away. Um, some people will be against it at first, but I ask that you wouldn't be so harsh on keep bringing it up, but just bring up little things. And especially if maybe they're going through something, you could tell them, of course, God is there for them. God understands when we're going through some troubles. And I ask that you would do this this week. Go to one person. And I myself am going to do this. I'm recording this on Monday. Um, it's going to be live Tuesday. I need to do some editing to it. But... That's one thing I ask that you would do, and I'm going to do the same thing. And I will tell you in next week episode how that went out about for me. And next week, ep ne le ne um, I apologize. Uh, next week's episode is going to be entitled "Love You with the Truth." Um, if you do know Casting Crowns, that's another song they sing as well. And in this episode, I'm going to talk about love and how we can love people with God. Um, God gives us love so we can show his love through ourselves. And that's the week when I will discuss this. And um, it, it, it's going to be such a powerful, powerful um, episode. I ask that you look forward to it. Uh, leave comments below if you have anything to say towards this. Um, also, you can feel free to make a response video or post a comment. Uh, how did that go about talking to a stranger? Uh, how did it go about telling someone about Christ? You can always be a hero, hidden in the, in the darkness. You can, you can reach others without it being a public spectacle. I ask that you would uh, dig into God's word, uh, look up a little bit about ministering. And, and if you're a powerful Christian, if you're a strong Christian, you know all the things God can do through you. I ask that you would uh, pray about it first. Maybe you don't know who to go to. Just pray to your pray. Um, out loud, just ask God that he would lead someone to you. And trust me, he'll answer your prayer and he'll put someone into your life. I uh, thank you for viewing this video and you, God bless you all. Have a good night. I hope that I will make a lot of heroes from this video. Thanks.